Hi, I'm Dana Nye, president of Ben Nye Makeup. It's a delight to have Eliza Campagna painting elegant makeup techniques today. And our two subjects are makeup for the red carpet and 60s go-go glam. You're going to learn a lot. This morning we have a wonderful presentation from uh, Dana Nye and Elizabeth Campagna. Eliz Eliza Campagna. Yeah, sorry. Eliza Campagna. Eliza is a Sydney-based professional hair and makeup artist who has worked in all aspects of production, including television, film, advertising, and photography. She's worked with local and internationally recognized stars, including Miranda Kerr, Fifi Box, Melissa Doyle, Samantha Armitage, and Jeffrey Rush. She's recently worked on feature films The Great Gatsby and The Wolverine. She regularly serves as a guest teacher at the Australian College of Makeup and Special Effects. So uh, I'd love for you to welcome to the stage the president of Ben Nye, Dana Nye, who has experience in movies and television himself, and Eliz Eliza Campagna. So with this look, we've gone for what I like to call party on top, nothing underneath. So I like to, you know, a nice sort of dark, smoky eye on top, but I leave it quite bare underneath. And I've lined it in a rim with a skin colored cream, not a white, not a yellow. So I'd like to keep it with a skin colored cream. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I started by using the matte foundations. And so I'm using that on my eyelid because I just I like the way it sits, it's not too shiny and it just neutralizes any oils on the eyelid and I can powder that off with these, um, I like using the Bella powders, I don't know if any of you guys have used these before but they're really good because they don't um, they don't cake on top of the, the cream and they, they don't add too much pigment. And what I like about this black um, eyeshadow is that, it, you know, with a lot of blacks, you get a lot of droppage under the eye. I mean, provided that you don't load up your brush with too much product, you know, none of that is falling down. It's just staying on the lid. And rather than going in and wildly brushing things about, I'm just pressing it onto the surface and doing small little brush strokes. And so because of Claudia's beautiful eye shape, I'm kind of revisiting um, an older technique eye shape, say from the 20s, where, you know, if you look at some of the original 20s makeup, it was sort of squared off here. So if you can see, I've kind of squared it off, taken it straight across. And rather than, you know, swept it up on this eye, I've just square, you know, faded it off in a square type fashion, which is, you know, my modern take on an old look, really. I've used a lot of black there and nothing's ended up yeah. underneath. That saves you time with having to clean up under the eye. And I'm just fading it off with a clean brush. So what I've done over the top of that black, just to warm up the black, I've used the dark, the, well, it's called black brown in this, um, in the glam shadow palette. And if you can see, that's the end that I'm sort of squaring off. Is there any rule of thumb that you use to um, define where the uh, eyeliner stops or the shadow stops? Well, or? it depends on my eye design. Dana, for this one, sometimes I will extend it out, but when you see me do this liner, I keep it quite, um, you know, I keep it quite close to the lash line. So we'll go into the liner now, and I'm going to use the, the cream. So these are not like a gel. They give you a bit more working time, I, th I think, and you can go. smudge them, and you can set them with either your Bella powders, or you can set them with the black eyeshadow. And I'm going to set it with the black powder and I'm using a, like a, would you call that a, like a chisel brush? Yeah, it's a little smudge brush. This is the uh, FDB number eight. And I just press that in. 
I mean, you can um, smudge this liner out a little bit. And that just helps give me a nice gradient from the bottom of the eye. And what I want is I want this, um, you know, this dewy sort of texture coming through. I quite like that for this look. So to enhance that, I just got a little bit of this. I think this is a new product. I'm just close. And I'm just really lightly pressing that just into the center of the eye. I don't want too much product on there. And for this sort of a look, I like to use a really, um, a really thick lash on top. So before I put the lash on, I'm going to go in with the mascara. Just a black mascara so that her lashes underneath are really black because I don't want them... I want them to blend in. Do you recall what foundation color you used? Because um, we were... Yeah, I used, well, I used a combination in the, um, in the Fair series. This is Media Pro, Sheer Foundation. I think uh, I this that. is called the, the uh, Fair uh, palette. And actually, we have uh, 12 brand new subtle peaches, pinks, so and good. they're included in the Fair Media Pro, Sheer Foundation. So I'm using this neutralizer pencil to line the inner rim. Just to, what that's going to do is neutralize the red out of um, the waterline. And just a really light coating of mascara on the bottom lashes. Uh, this is called the Global, and it includes some of those brand new fair shades, uh, mid and uh, dark olive shades and it also has five concealer corrector colors in it as well this is the fp3 hd fp3 and i love that it's really dewy and glowy everybody wants that glowy skin but you'll get your coverage out of it as well which is quite nice so um eliza is working out of a, a brand new palette case uh, this time last year, our palettes had a mirror in the lid. Oh yeah, this is the best, mixing palette on top. And I'm going to contour with these new, um, the new contour palette as well. I'm using light caramel. And I like this brush because I can turn it on the, um, on the tip and work right into that line. But then if I want to blend that out, I just turn it on the flat side. And see how that gives me that really nice, you know, that nice cheekbone. And just on top of the cheekbone, I'm using this new, the Lumiere colors are now in a cream. So I've just mixed the ice gold and the ice. And I'm just pressing that on ever so lightly. And that was just uh, the cream blush that I used on Claudia. It's not quite pink and it's not quite peach it's a little bit of a mixture in between because she's wearing red you don't really want to go too pink or too orangey you want to find something nice in between and these pencils are really nice too they're nice and soft this is the top so the top is very nice because it's neutral it's kind of it's not medium brown it's not light brown it's very natural I want to use a gloss and I don't want any harsh lines on this lip. I just want it to be glossy and light. And I try to match her lip color as best I can with the gloss. Now I'm going to use a tiny teensy little bit of um, powder on just the T-zone. I'm going to go with the Bella powders. I really love the Bella Banana Powder. I don't know if you have any ever used the Banana Powder in the Ben Nye series. Voila. Okay. You look fabulous, Claudia. Great hair.